Listen to this for absolute idiocy. Are you ready? Right. You buy a footballer for £97 million. You whack them on a five-year contract. Ten months later, you sell the same player to the same club that you bought the player from for £7 million. Only my club are capable of such lunacy, such bad decisions. You know what's going to happen next, don't you? Chelsea Football Club are going to put in an £85 million bid for Tammy Abraham. I cannot believe the shambles. And yes, it's a shambles. Yes, it's an embarrassment. Yes, Romelu Lukaku is going to go down as the worst signing in Premier League history. He's actually going to be on that list twice, considering he went to Manchester United for an awful lot of money as well. But I am so happy. I am relieved. I am overjoyed. I am genuinely full of the joys of spring. I feel like Santa Claus. I am a Santa Claus for all seasons today because Romelu Lukaku is no longer at my club. Romelu Lukaku is going to return to Inter Milan. Yes, it's on loan. Yes, we're only seeing seven million quid, but it's done. He's gone. Yes, I am elated. But, I mean, his year at Stamford Bridge has to be considered an unmitigated disaster. And I cannot believe quite how bad it's been. Imagine being the worst Chelsea signing ever and considering everybody else that's on that list. Chris Sutton, Timo Werner, Alvaro Morata and yet Romelu Lukaku is the jewel in the crown of whatever you want to be filling the missing gaps. I mean, the only good news here is... um, that we're not going to pay any of his wages. The, good, the only good news from a business standpoint is that we're not going to pay any of his wages. And it's been done quickly, which means we can focus on the future, which is really, really good news because we are going to have a long, hard, arduous, but massively important and potentially historic season ahead. Todd Bowley's first season, the Todd Bowley Consortium, comes to London. Let's see what can happen. But there's a lot that we have to get right now. And do you know who the pressure is going to be on with this sale? Thomas Tuchel. Tuchel really is going to be up against it with regard to this sale because Tuchel will have to bear some of the brunt, take on some of the responsibility as to why it didn't work. Whether that's true or not, whether that's fair or not, is a different question. But when a manager doesn't bring out the best in a footballer, the manager is held responsible. And that is the life of a Premier League manager. That is what it is. So... He needs to get it right, Tuchel. How we proceed from here, he is definitely going to have to get it right because we must also remember that Thomas Tuchel decided Tammy Abraham wasn't good enough. So he couldn't get the best out of Lukaku. He then decided that Tammy Abraham wasn't good enough. Do you remember how badly Tuchel treated Tammy Abraham around the FA Cup? Chelsea played an FA Cup final. Thomas Tuchel decided not to even select Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham was Chelsea's top goal scorer in that FA Cup. Tammy Abraham had got Chelsea to an FA Cup final and Tuchel cruelly left him out. So he didn't fancy Tammy. He couldn't make it work with Romelu Lukaku. He has to get it right now. So Tuchel really does have some pressure on him. And whoever comes in to replace Lukaku is going to have to get it right. And he is going to have to perform. There are no excuses on that front now. There is no room for manoeuvre. Thomas Tuchel is going to have to get it right. Because this Tammy decision, the more I think about it, the more incorrect it was. I was saying constantly last year, anyone who's ever watched anything I've ever done will know that I was saying, get rid of Werner, preserve the relationship with Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham is a far better player than Timo Werner. A year later, people are finally agreeing with me. It was one that I got right. But look, Romelu Lukaku and Alvaro Morata cost £155 million combined. They scored 24 goals combined. Tammy Abraham alone scored 21. Do you see why it was a no-brainer to keep him at the club? Mourinho knew, Roma knew, and now I cannot believe that we are in a situation where Lukaku has gone, we've let Abraham go, we've made such terrible rickets in the transfer window of late. How have we let Victor Mori go? How have we let Mark Gahey go? And now we're having a centre-half crisis. It is appalling mismanagement, but I do hope those days are over. And now we must look to the future and... Get it right. Make a quick decision on who is going to replace Romelu Lukaku. How are we going to get it to work? Uh, Raheem Sterling. I've put a video on this channel earlier today talking about how I feel about Raheem Sterling. Me and Adi Oladipo dive deep to discuss 
Raheem Sterling. The video is about 20 minutes long, but I would love Sterling to come. But also, Usman Dembele. I would love him to arrive. Richarlison, Gabriel Jesus we're linked with. We must get this right. Um, I would love Usman Dembele. Has anyone heard Thomas Tuchel talking about Dembele? He says that he's far and away the most gifted player that he has ever worked with. He tells this great story about when they were training at Dortmund and remember the player that Dembele was there. And he asked him to take a corner and he takes it as an in-swinger from the right. He goes over to the other side, asks him to take another corner and he takes it as an in-swinger again. Whatever side it's on, he just takes them as in-swingers. That's how gifted Usman Dembele is. And Thomas Tuchel loved working with him. So I would love for us to get it right, but it doesn't bode well. I'm just having a think about Chelsea centre-forwards over the past, what, decade or so? It's appalling, isn't it? Lukaku, Werner, Morata, Higuain, Giroud, Batshuayi, Falcao, Pato. There are some shockers in there, aren't there? But this is a new era. I'm going to be as positive as I can possibly be. I am optimistic about what this new regime holds in store. Tusha will be happy to get Romelu Lukaku out of the club. Todd Bowley will be happy to get him out of the club. And now we can focus on the future. But finally, it is over. And now people will talk about Paul Pogba being a dreadful signing. And of course he was. People will talk about Jack Grealish prematurely. People will talk about many footballers underperforming when they get the big money move. But I guarantee you this, nobody will get it as wrong as Romelu Lukaku. The way Romelu Lukaku treated Chelsea is a disgrace. The way that he arrived at Chelsea to fanfare, the way that he openly stated that he was prepared to play any way that Thomas Tuchel wanted and then sulked, organised an unsolicited interview with Sky Italia was so disrespectful, not only to Chelsea fans, but to his teammates, to his manager, to the people that were paying his wages. Chelsea put him on massive wages. He was earning £350,000 a week for five years, and that is how he repays us. I genuinely believe that Romelu Lukaku is a narcissist. I think he only finds happiness in self-gratification. He isn't a team player. He doesn't want to be part of a team. He wanted a team to be built around him, but guess what, Romelu? You're not as good as you think you are. You're not a particularly good footballer. You haven't got the first touch. All of the, all of the worries that I had about signing Lukaku, all of the concerns that Manchester United fans were constantly talking about, does he have a first touch? Does he score against big teams? Guess what? You don't and you don't. And therefore, it's good riddance to Romelu Lukaku from me. I really, really am happy to see him leave Chelsea Football Club. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now we drink and celebrate. Ta-da.